Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for cheap and fast coins. Use code ZERK for 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. So before we get into the video guys, I do want to mention that I am currently doing a giveaway over on Twitter. A link will be at the top of the description for that giveaway. I'm giving away a signed mystery jersey and 10 winners will also receive 250,000 coins. That's for Xbox. PS4, whatever, doesn't matter what you guys are on. All you guys have to do is retweet the tweet, follow myself, Rock Bottom and Guns Nasty, and like I said, it's on either console, so everyone can enter for this giveaway, and it ends on March 9th. So if you guys want to enter for this giveaway, link of course will be in the description. What's going on, guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today we have the new Ultimate Legends in the game, and also want to show to you guys that I did in fact complete the Deion Sanders set, so I will be getting Denta. Ward, Alvin Kamara, and Amari Cooper gameplay probably tomorrow morning at some point you guys will see that gameplay out but i also want to give a shout out to the noted gang dylan thompson thank you for watching the videos if you guys want to enter for a shout out go ahead and comment down below noted gang if you didn't see the video from last night i want to start doing something to kind of just give back to you guys you know show you that i do appreciate you of course for commenting noted gang definitely everyone that has their notifications on it helps the channel out a lot so if you don't have notifications on definitely make sure you guys do comment down below noted gang and you'll have a chance to be shouted out in a video of course i'll just go through and look at one of the first comments so Make sure you guys are here early. Comment down below the game. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video. We do have Denzel Ward. You guys can see he's a 98 overall for me. 98 speed, 97 excel, 95 jumping, 93 play rank, 99 man, 92 zone, 98 press. Definitely looks pretty good. Also, Alvin Kamara. And I do have John Madden passing tier 2 and John Madden rushing tier 2. So that's actually how I have Kamara up to 99. With 96 speed, 99 excel, 95 break tackle, 94 losers, 90 trucking. Solid link card. And then Amari Cooper, you know, 95 speed, 97 catch, 94 catch, traffic, 93 spec catch. So it should be pretty decent. Now we also got the ultimate legends in the game. We have Kellen Winslow, Ray Lewis, and also Ken Houston. Houston is going to be the LTD. Now, of course, I will be dropping a gameplay later today with Kellen Winslow and with Ray Lewis. Now, if you guys want to see me do an ultimate legends bundle, give me 2K likes in the vid. I'll drop that video for you guys later tonight. 2,000 likes, you get an ultimate legends bundle. But. We do have Kellen Wins, though. I could do my power pass on him, but I'm going to wait and just, you know, use it later. But you guys can see powered up courses of 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 95 jumping. He should be really, really good. I will say one thing, though, okay? When it comes to Winslow, I don't have him on my team to, like, compare to show you guys. But Darren Waller basically beats him in everything. So... Darren Waller over Winslow, yeah, I'd, I'd probably say Darren Waller over Winslow. So, Kellen Winslow, still a really good card, and you guys can definitely expect to see some gameplay from me later today. But we also got Ray Lewis, and I'm going to show you guys the Ray Lewis stats. We actually are going to pick up Ray Lewis today. So, let's go ahead and get this card, 7,000 training, and then the power up pass on him as well. And you can see, he's got 92 speed with 92 acceleration. I'm going to back out here so I can actually show you. And I actually should uh, probably put some chemistries on him. That way, maybe he can go to 99 overall. I know if I switched over to John Madden, whatever, he would definitely go up to 99. But let me put lockdown on him and just see if that helps his zone enough to get him to 99 overall. And it doesn't. And actually, I just forgot to throw him into my lineup. I did change my coach Madden uh, chemistries around a little bit. So now we're back to passing defense times two. And then one on passing offense, one on rushing offense. But you guys can see his stats. 95 speed, 94 excel, 99 play rate, 76 zone, 99 tackling, 98 hit power, 94 block shed, 90 strength. Uh, in terms of like agility, whatever, he's got 86 agility, which is solid. Uh, he's got a jump in of an 84, which obviously is not the best. And then he's got a 79 power move as well. So it's a really, really good looking card. In terms of stopping the run, 100% really, really good. But here's the thing, right? My Patrick Willis card with the same exact chemistries, whatever, you know, 76 zone coverage on that Ray Lewis. My Willis got 83, which I think is a pretty big difference there. 91 block shedding, 95 speed with 94 excel. So you're looking at the same speed, same acceleration for Ray Lewis and Patrick Willis. Agility is a 90 though, and the jumping is a 93. So he is definitely the better user card between the two. Also, Ray Lewis is 6 foot 1. Patrick Willis is also 6 foot 1. So same exact height there. And they're very, very comparable cards. I'm going to be honest here, though. I hope Ray Play was really good. But overall, as a user card, it definitely has to go to Patrick Willis. Still, I think Willis is definitely the better user. But hopefully, Ray will still play pretty dang good. So we do have Patrick Willis 
and Ray Lewis. Nice little middle linebacker duo. So we'll get that Ray Lewis gameplay and the Kellen Winslow gameplay later today. Let's get into, per usual, the six Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs that I tend to do in these morning content videos. Now, like I said, 2K likes. I will drop a bundle for you guys later today. And I'm going to get right to recording the gameplay after this. And also, you know, the Alan Kamara, whatever, the, uh, the triple gameplay. That should be out probably... Tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. As in round one, round two here, actually we do not get anything good. We'll just go with the two idiot overalls. Ultimate the fantasy packs, you guys already know. I have had just pff, ridiculous luck. Like I have been so insanely lucky with these ultimate fantasy packs. It is not even funny. Round one here, we get an 85 Ian Thomas, 78 Mike Remmers. Eventually, though, my pack luck has to come to an end. So uh, we'll see exactly when that's going to be. Round two. We get, okay, no big X, but we, oh. Hold on. There was no animation. Did I skip the animation? I am almost positive. There was no big animation for this pull right here, but we just got 95 Kellen Winslow. I am pretty positive that I did not skip a big X animation, and that just did not have one. Unless I just went through it so quickly that it just didn't have time to even start the Big X. But we did get 95 Kellen Winslow there in round number one. And we also get an 88 overall Ray Lewis. Dude, 92 Calvin Johnson series redux in round number one. My pack luck is on another level. I'm going to not skip over these real quick because for some reason... I swear that that didn't have a big X animation on it, but we actually got free safety Calvin Johnson here in round number one of the very next pack. That is so weird. That, that, is, that is so dang weird. But next up to the fantasy pack here, round one. Can we get another series redux? Let me get like a Calvin. Now we get an 84. We get a 77 there. I was hoping for an 84 at least. Uh, we'll go with the 84, the 82, and whatever. Let's go with the 77. doesn't really matter there. Round two, though. We get a big X. This time, we did get a big X. 93, Deerdorf. Okay. And we'll go with the 89 overall, Brian Dawkins. So, we got that 95 overall pull. That's going to help a lot with getting that set done. Not sure how much the Count Winslow card is going to be because, like I said, I truly do think that Darren Waller is a little bit better, but still could be a pretty expensive card. Round one here. We're getting some solid pulls. Let's go with the Eric Weddle card there. And I guess to go with the Clinton Porter's power or whatever. Round two. Give me Big X. Big X. We do get one. 95 Dan Deerdorf. Another really, really good pull. And we'll go with the 88 overall Jordan Gross. These old Smudge of Fantasy Packs, guys. Like, week after week for me. Just incredible. Just absolutely ridiculous. Final Ultimate Legends Fantasy Pack, though. We get 81. Power of Marcus Allen. And yikes. So this one may not be that great. Here we go with the 77 Jimmy G because he doesn't have a power up or whatever. Round two. Ah, uh, they're not going to end off too hot for us, unfortunately. So didn't end off amazing, but we did get the 95 overall Kellen Winslow, which I want to see how much the card is actually currently going for. I'm hoping maybe like 300K. I mean, it's the, it's the highest set piece. It's got to be pretty dang decent. So it is the highest set piece. Also, we get a 95 overall Dan Deerdorf, what are you, like 100k maybe? 194k, wow, that's actually a really good pull. And then, of course, you got the 93 overall Deerdorf, so if I wanted to complete the set, probably could. We get a 92 Calvin Johnson, which he's 130,000 coins. And we got the 95 Kellen Winslow, which he is currently 350,000 coins, man. Wow, my pack look is ridiculous it's that zerk look make sure you guys drop the like on the video comment down below zerk luck maybe you'll get lucky and get something good well let's take a look at the ultimate legends as well so ultimate legends i don't know how much this ken houston card is going to go for i don't think i want him on my team but probably is going to be a solid looking card so let's see 96 97 let's just sort by price because you know these guys would be crazy expensive so ray lewis currently looks like he's about 589k and as you guys can see i already showed you his powered up stats 91 speed 91 excel uh 93 block shed you know pretty comparable to patch quills just the zone coverage is the big difference the agility the better user patrick willis better overall card probably ray lewis there 
Uh, and then, of course, we also have got Ken Houston. Looks like Winslow is not up just yet. But Ken Houston, 94 speed, 93 excel, 89 tackling, 92 pursuit, 89 man, 95 zone, 92 hit power, 81 catching. He's got a jumping of a 94. He's also got a block shed of a 68. And you guys already know how I feel about Troy Palmalu. My opinion, best strong safety in the game, and it's not even close. But Ken Houston here is actually six foot three over Palomalu, only 5'10. Powered up, you'd have the same speed, less excel, better zone, same hit power. Really, really tough decision for you guys if you want to pick up that card. Uh, we'll see if Kellen wins those up just yet, but I don't believe he actually is. Oh, actually, yes, he is. So 500k, 97 overall Kellen wins though. 90 speed, 73 strength, 95 catching, 94 catch traffic, 96 back catch, 96 short round running, which is incredible. 90 medium, 67 run block. That's like the one part where Wall doesn't compare is, of course, the uh, route running stuff. But he does have 81 juke, 82 stiff arm. Gameplay coming later today. Ray Lewis gameplay, 2K likes for a bundle. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the vid. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.